Okay. I wonder if I can still do that. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. All right. So here we are live. <laughs> and uh, with that, yes. <laughs> yeah. That's you. Who is it? You and who else? Uh, well, it's me with other people here that are coming in. Uh, my father is 90. My father's 90. <laughs> you want to say hi to some people? Uh, are they coming over? No, they're not coming over. <laughs> no, they're um, they're viewing us from wherever they're sitting. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, does so anybody have any questions for my father? going back in time. Uh, for those of you who probably don't know, because I never mentioned it, uh, my father is a, a Korean veteran. So he was uh, during the Korean War and uh, he was stationed in Japan and uh, he was a mender. He mended planes. Hello, Kat. How are you? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so he was stationed at Brady um, Brady Brady what was it called, Dad? What's that? What was it called where you were stationed? Brady Air Force Base? Uh, Brady Air Force, yeah. Brady. Yeah. What was the name of that, that, that town? Fugoku? Uh, oh, the name of the town was Fukuoka, and where they dropped the bomb was Nagasaki. Nagasaki, that's right. <laughs> uh, what planes did you work on? He mostly worked on fighter planes that were, uh, at the time, new, newly jets. <laughs> like, you know? He looks good. Yeah, he, he looks good. Looks good. He looks tired. <laughs> he, he loves to sleep a lot. Uh, what's the secret to a long life? Oh, I don't know. Let's ask him. Uh, they want to know how you live a long life. How to live a long life? Yeah. It's very simple. Stay away from the drugs. <laughs> uh, all kinds of drugs. That's right. You go in aspirin if you can. Yeah. Because any drug is it works against you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, he's 90. He's 90 years old. Love the accent. Yeah, he does have a... He has a little bit of a, um, an Italian accent. However, he speaks English very well, of course. Uh, thank you for his services. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you will ask him everything. Pick his brain, especially about his services. Yes. Uh, tell your dad, good day, sir. Okay. Uh, will you be doing a show tonight? No, it'll be on a Tuesday night, just saying. Uh, check check my uh, profile for um, the dates lo that's local to your area. So uh, my father loves vitamins. He's a, a vitamin fanatic. He, he He's taken almost every type of vitamin possible, and he steers away from any meds. He's on no medication whatsoever. Like he has no meds, except for at the very moment he's starting to take Lantus, which is, um, um, it's like an insulin, I guess. But you know, that's kind of expected at this time. So, uh, yeah. What year was he born? 32, <laughs> not 1943, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Uh, did your dad have any favorite old time radio shows? Not so much. Um, does he enjoy a cocktail? Ah, oh, there she is. Natalia, how are you? Yes, he is soaking up the sun, actually. It's such a beautiful day out here. It's worth it, you know? So, that's the good news. I'm 51, and he is 90. Yeah. No, I haven't seen that, Juan. I uh, just got back from the beach. Nicely. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah. I think he's passed out. <laughs> uh, he does like the old school lives. It's wonderful. Yeah, he's cute. No, he does not drink at all. He doesn't drink. He drinks water. Lemon water sometimes, you know. Yeah. How does he look so good? Uh, he takes care of himself quite a bit. 
snaps are the life. <laughs> but if anybody has a, a good question for me to ask them, uh, I could ask them. Yeah. <laughs> Look who fell asleep first. <laughs> uh, does he have a kidney disease? No. Um, a very interesting thing. He did have, uh, in 2012, he had pancreatic cancer and he beat it. He's a 10 year survivor of pancreatic cancer. Uh, they did they they did surgery. Uh, a lot of the doctors were afraid to work on him because he was 80 at the time. And um, one doctor took the chance, went in, did a like a, a Whipple procedure, and it was contained in one direction, so he was able to uh, retain 40% of his uh, pancreas. So it's it's a big big deal. Yes. So he's overcome that. And. Uh, Again, you know, no medication. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, he was 15 real. Actually, let's ask him. Um, hey, Dad. Some people want to know what you remember about World War II in Sicily when you were a kid. What did I do in Sicily? When you were a kid, do you remember? Do you remember the soldiers coming in in Sicily? Oh yeah, the English. Yeah. The English. Yeah, the English. There were the English people coming in our side, my side of Sicily. Yeah. Not the Americans. No. Oh, okay. And uh, did they give you chocolate or anything like that? Uh, well, they give something. My English people are uh, cheap people. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, they want to know that story that you had uh, when you were with your friend and you found a grenade. You found some sort of a, a weapon or a grenade or something like that? I found a weapon? You said you 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 found something with your friend. Um, well, I made myself a weapon, yeah. No, no, no. That thing that you found and, you, and it exploded. Oh. And you got the whole town crazy. Oh, that was the bomb. Yeah, that's it. That, that, that was in the grain. Oh. Hand grenade. Hand grenade, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Somebody threw a hand grenade and the horse shit. <laughs> and so it, it was just soft that did not explode. Yeah, yeah. And then when we went there to pick it up, I, I, I didn't trust it, so I left it up slowly. And I said, oh, it's heavy. Yeah. That means it's loaded. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> so I put it back down again. Uh huh. And. Uh, and we started drawing rocks, and when one of the rockets hit it, boom, it exploded. And you should see that whole shit flying over. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. So then they ran away, and uh, the cops were trying to figure out what happened, right? What? The police were trying to find out what happened? Yeah, the police, yeah, they, they heard the bomb. I mean, they heard the noise. Yeah. They, they thought somebody was throwing the bomb, you know. Yeah. Uh, so they, they were looking for, for me, you know? Yeah, yeah, I could imagine. Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody says, uh, what's the best advice you can give to younger people? What? Uh, what's that? What's the best advice you could give to younger people? Someone asked that. Uh, to younger people, <clears throat> to be, uh, <clears throat> the best thing is, <clears throat> you need a water? It's just a, no, that's okay. All right. <clears throat> to be positive, always think positive. That's right. Yeah. When you're thinking positive, everything goes better. If you're thinking negative, everything goes wrong. That's right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So. <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> be positive. <laughs> be positive. And take no drugs whatsoever. Don't take drugs. He's right. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall from the tree too far. <laughs> uh, have you ever called your dad with a 40s conversation? No, I haven't. I have not. But it's it's possible. Yeah, it does describe me, doesn't it? <laughs> Where in Sicily is he from? Um, the town is uh, called Syracuse, the Syracuse area. Or the Providence of Syracuse, I should say. It's the uh, Providence. The town is like the small little village. 
uh, advice to aging gracefully. Um, I guess just, uh, you know, don't have any stress. Don't hold stress is the best thing. Yeah, he's wonderful. He's good. He's good. Uh, uh, no, I, I think whenever he watches my live, it just looks like watching an average old movie. He doesn't think of it like that. He watches a lot of older movies, so. Uh, but he knows about the 40s thing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he thought it was pretty cool. He thought it was cool. He's getting tired. He's lived much life. Yeah, he's a little tired. He's done quite a bit. He, uh, he had a bakery for 50 years. He owned a bakery. So it was pretty cool. It's his favorite food? Uh, probably hot dogs. He loves hot dogs. Hey, Dad, when was the last time you had a hot dog? <laughs> a hot dog? Oh, not the one dog. I bought a set of hot dogs if you want some today. Yeah, I'll take them. <laughs> hot dog. Yeah, ain't nothing about a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny yeah yeah but today is such a lovely day out here it's not even funny it really is uh, what do you do full time I, I drive a bus so yeah he is 90 90 years old and uh, here yeah, he reminds me of my father that's cool that's cool that's cool. Um, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she likes all types of foods. Uh, <laughs> never in trouble. I never get in trouble. I miss my dad. Yeah, I can imagine. Thank you, thank you. So, um, I'm going to give you guys a little clip of something that you probably no most never see in this area. Or, I mean... Let me put this up a little bit. Ooh, that's close. Um, I'm going to just show you the view that I have right now. We're sitting on a porch here. And uh, uh, let's, uh, let's just do a little flip here. One second. There we are. This is the view that we have at the moment, which is kind of cool. Yeah. I love this tree. I absolutely love this tree. And you see this uh, this little branch right here. I plan on putting a swing set right here, a, a, a one swing with a thick rope and a, a beautiful um, seat, like a wooden seat that's just well decorated. It's gonna look really nice. But uh, yeah, that's the entrance. And uh, yeah, I normally don't have the ability to show that, but uh, I don't know. Just kind of cool. There we are. Uh, the lamp down in front of you is stunning. My great grandmother used to have one. Like, yeah, we keep that on 24-7. Uh, it's kind of like a welcoming light. Yeah. Uh, no guest access today? I, I didn't really think about that. I'm, I'm, I have the words on big, I'm sorry. Whenever they're big, I can't do guest. It just um, it makes it easier to view. Yeah, a real gaslight? No, it's not a real gaslight. That's pretty funny. Does he speak any language? Well, his native language is Italian. So he speaks Italian fluently, obviously. Uh, actually, it becomes an issue because uh, sometimes, you know, we have an aide that, that takes care of him when I'm at work. And um, she only speaks Italian. So <laughs> sometimes he speaks to me in Italian. And I have to sit there and really think about it. Like, well, I, th I know what he's saying, but, you know. Uh, someone loves doing TikTok Live. Yes, someone does. Do I speak Italian? I do if I have to. <laughs> it's it's kind of like, um, uh, it's, like a, it's like having a spare tire. Like, you don't use it unless you have to. <laughs> uh, Sicily, Mia, in Sicily. Uh, I am working tonight. Uh, in fact, uh, what time is it? I have to leave in about... Well, 4.30, I need to leave. Uh, can you say something? I speak a, a, a dialect. I speak a Sicilian dialect, so when I do, it's kind of difficult for some people to understand it, I guess, so to speak. Were you raised there? Uh, no, I wasn't. I was raised here. 
Uh, hello, how you doing, Marcus? Charlotte, hello. Coco. Uh, Calabria, okay, beautiful. Yeah, that's cool. Yes, this is my father. Uh, do I plan on retiring? I just started two years ago. <laughs> Nearly three, actually. Okay, you say something else in Italian, in Sicilian. Um, I'll get to Bobadiri, yeah. No lo so. Pero, uh, forse, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I miss your house. Yeah, I miss having you here, having a cup of tea on this lovely porch. What state? This is New Jersey. We're in New Jersey right now. Melbourne. I have family in Melbourne. I have family in Melbourne. I'm convinced it's real words. <laughs> I may have botched up slightly, but it's okay. Um, that's funny. Uh, here in Texas, lovely. Texas must be pretty hot right now, I'm sure. Uh, ask Dad if he likes peaches and uh, peaches and wine. Uh, kind of too sweet for him. He can't really have too much sweets. He kind of uh, dipped down on the sweet stuff. I'm gonna give you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> uh, what year is it now? Oh, it's uh, 2077. I don't know. <laughs> I uh, never had crawfish. I bet it's amazing though. So, I was gonna say. One second. Okay. Do 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 do. All right. Anyhow. Uh, don't forget to <laughs> drop the gun. And get the cannoli. <laughs> uh, it's perfect. Seventy degrees here in Galveston. No, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yes, Italian bakery, weddings, cookies. Very, very good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Hanging out. He's loving it out here. This might be the maybe the second time he's been outside because uh, he's usually cold, but today is perfect out here. <laughs> that's Andy. Yeah, that's right. This is 1943. He's here. <laughs> it would be a great little post, right, if I did something like that? <laughs> Say, ah <laughs> uh, yes, looks like a beautiful day. It really is, fly. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. It's not funny. It's not even funny. Yeah, I figured why not. You know, um, I never get the, I never give the chance to connect with anybody else but myself. And well, why not? I think it'd be good. So yeah, the, the OG Antonio. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, yes, I have a, a brother and two sisters. I do. Yeah. I just found you. Love your lives. Hello from England. How you doing, Annie? Thank you for joining in. That's cool. He aged with time travel. Yeah, well, it's not easy to uh, go through that wormhole. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I'm a happy person. I think everyone should be. Actually always tired he, he doesn't have the energy like he used to um, only about seven months ago he had a lot more energy and then it kind of declined a little bit but he's you know he's able to walk he just loves sleeping more than anything in the world <laughs> my mom's about to join the live Antonio oh that's fantastic wonderful very cool hi Jasper how are you Seeing how you share your beautiful view, I sent a request so I can show you what I got. Oh, okay, cool. Um, let's see where we're at. Uh, okay. Uh, did I add you? I, wait a minute. Who did I add? I don't even know what I. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. Oh. There we are. Hey, what's up, man? Hello, sir. How are you? How you doing, buddy? Good, good, good. Good, oh, good. You? Yes. Nice. Let me just flip this over for you. I just want to pop in for a quick minute. You're in Canada, right? I am. Lovely. Yes. Ah, there we are. It's a beautiful day here in Canada. Yes, finally. it is. Yes, yeah. it is. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it down there, but I I can. My, it's wonderful. From my yard, this the is ocean. A way where I can I think click on it. No, it doesn't work yeah. that way. 
sometimes you could do a, like a flip cam between two. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You can make it a little bigger, but I can't zoom in because it's not my live. But that's okay. That's, that's the, okay. Uh, the Northumberland cool. straight across the street. Nice. Yeah. I'm on an island, so. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. Cape Breton Island, Canada. Eh? <laughs> nice. Nice. That's wonderful, man. Did you get the uh, Did you get the other record player going? Uh, I haven't tried it yet. No, I don't have that time. Uh, I okay. I usually tinker around with stuff in the basement nice. on a Wednesday night or two, you know, well, not oh, okay. Tuesday. Wednesday nights are my time. Yeah, I know. It's it was my Tuesday. only time off, really. Yeah, tu- Tuesday night you take a trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right on. That's how'd it. you enjoy your bu- How'd you enjoy your bus ride the other day? Uh, it was sweet, <laughs> man. It was nice and uh, comfortable, actually. Yeah, it's nice being chauffeured around, eh? Yeah, I can say that. Yeah. Absolute. Nice, nice. Well, I just want to pop in and share with you today. I'm just on my way going fishing. All right. Well, enjoy. I hope you catch something big. All right. Definitely. And we'll see you around, man. All right. Take care, brother. Thank you Take so care, much buddy. for jumping in. No problem. Take care. Bye-bye now. Cool. Well, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So, uh, yes, this is my father here. He's sleeping at the moment. Yeah, he's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, he easily passes out, like like instantaneous. Like, especially at night when he's going to bed, uh, you know, you would think, uh, okay, you know, it takes about a half hour to wind down to a, a deep sleep. No, with him, it's within three minutes, and it's like this. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. Uh, he's definitely from 1943. He's actually a little older than that, so he was about... 15 at that time so yeah i'm jealous jealous how come i wish i could do oh oh to sleep i see yeah yeah he can he if there's any special technique that he has it's sleeping he could just pop out like nobody's business hi anna annie um hello jenny how are you yeah, he, but as fast as he falls asleep, he's as fast as he wakes up as well. <laughs> it's kind of like in and out. I'm trying to think if there's any uh, if you, if there's any questions you might have for him. <laughs> Antonio, you should adopt me. <laughs> Surely. Hello, hello. I'm in New Jersey. Just throwing that out there. Yes. Oh, let's see. Somebody's looking to join in? Sure. Why not? Dad listening right now. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Hello, Purple. How are you? Hello, Antonio. How are you? Great. Wonderful. Always. It is a beautiful day out there today. What a great place to grow up. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's wonderful. So what made your dad decide to own a bakery? Um it wasn't actually his decision. It was kind of like his parents' decision. Like, uh, well, I think he could explain it, really. Are you awake? You awake? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Somebody has a question for you. Uh, let's see if, uh, let's see if you can hear it. Can you hear her? Hello. Hello there. <laughs> How are you? Okay, as usual. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, is better than bad. So, what made you decide to open a bakery? What? Why did you want to open a bakery? What made you open a bakery? Um, I had not in mind to open a bakery. My, my mind was to open up a restaurant in South Carolina. Uh, some term. Uh, Open up a, a, a restaurant. There was no Italian pizzeria, no Italian restaurant there. The closest one was, and that is good, in Columbia, South Carolina. Right. Uh, the capital. And uh, my father wanted me to come home because I told him I was going to stay in the South. And uh, my parents, they wanted me to come home. So he bought a, a building uh, that used to be a, a store and a factory. Uh, a, a milling grain, right? 
downtown Patterson. There's yeah. a, a milling grain. Yeah. And uh, so uh, I said to my friends, because I was going to open up a restaurant over there in the south with a couple other guys, a couple friends of mine. One from Pennsylvania, one from South Carolina. And uh, I told him I, I can't, I, I have to go home. I said, I have to go back home. My parents wanted me to have their old parents, and uh, I wanted to go home with them. So um, and that's what happened. And I, I went up with a bakery. Because I used to work in a bakery when, before I went in service, part time. So I know a little bit about bakery, and uh, I went up, I opened up a bakery, and I had people uh, because I don't, I don't know enough about a bakery business, you know. Uh, and that's what happened. Wow! Thank you for explaining. Yeah, and that's right. And uh, me and my brothers, I had two brothers who wanted to go to shop. And one of them was just out of school, uh, high school. And uh, <clears throat> the three of us all opened up. In a, I opened it up, and then there, I, had, I needed help. I couldn't do everything by myself. Uh, I used to work seven days a week. It, 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 bakery is a hard work. You, it, you, you know, no, no time off if you want. And uh, we just sold the bakery now, about a year ago. And, and these people did them very good. They kept the name. So I, I built a good name, I built a quality. Um, I, I sent my brothers to school for pastries, uh, so we, we built a good name. We, we were one of the best bakeries in Patterson, and it still is. Now, at uh, that time, there were so many bakeries, it was hard to make a living, but uh, now, uh, not many people are in the business anymore. Uh, they could make it. it, it too many uh, competition. Too many competition. Yeah, yeah. the big ones. You know. um, and that's what happened. <laughs> so there you have it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, regular, like a family, not regular, but a family bakery is always so much better than the grocery. Oh, you know, absolutely. the food is so authentic. Well, one of the things that his uh, his breads were noted for is that it was completely no preservative, no artificial flavor. It was like the pure bread. And, you know, with that, you know, a lot of other bakeries would stray away from that because, you know, it would go stale fast. Like with the mm -hmm. next day it was stale. It didn't matter. Like, you know, the flavor was so good and it was so healthy for you. Uh, right. That's what counted. He, he believed in quality over quantity basically. Wow. Imagine trying to do that today in the economy, trying to keep like the, the number one quality products would be really hard to do, you it know, would be, but I think, uh, I, again, I think that's where, uh, maybe beating the competition is by, having such quality, you know, in any aspect in this day and age, if you can get away with it, if you could find that, that sweet spot of, uh, you know, the cost versus the amount that you sell in volume. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's good meeting you. And, um, I guess if somebody else wants in the box, I'll say goodbye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye Bye now. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my pops. It's my father. He's 90 years old. Awesome story. Yeah. He's definitely seen a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. 
what else? Uh, does he ever keep? No, he doesn't keep up with any politics at all. He doesn't care about that. Uh, yeah. So what else? What else we got here? Yeah, thank you, thank you. He is happy. Where? I don't know. Someone just driving slow. <laughs> If you're wondering, he says, who's that in, in Sicilian? Who yet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm talking to people all over the world over here right now. You know how I do that, that, uh, that show that I do? Yeah. Well, I'm not doing a show now, but it's the same thing. So now people get to see you. <laughs> yeah we have to get back into supporting local yeah it's true that's absolutely true i i'm a big fan of supporting uh local oh purple in atlanta that's wonderful wonderful uh yes yes that's where we are now hello from finland how are you turn up how are you how are you antonio senior yeah, that's correct yeah Good to see you here. Uh, cheers to everyone. Yes, Winston, hello. Talk like the show. Talk like the show. I don't know what, what kind of show. Can't wait for Tuesday. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is 1943, and uh, well, here we have 1943 in the future. He has traveled far and wide. <laughs> That would be funny. Say, how did you get here? <laughs> Alexis, how are you? Uh, I think I'm going to have a proper aneurysm now. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Uh, thank you, Elena. Elena, Elena. That is you. It, well, yeah, it is me. Uh, if we get to travel in time, just wondrous. Yeah, it would be wonderful, actually. So tell him about the rock. Oh, no, but he was the one who discovered it, actually. He discovered the rock, and then when we had tiles put into the house, he had the tile guy split the rock in half. Then maybe I should show everybody the rock. I'm going to go take a walk. I'm going to take a walk. <laughs> just so he knows. <laughs> uh... Well, let's see. If I'm going to walk, I might as well. Eh, well just, it's kind of funny how I'm on a tripod right now. So I'm, this is an iPad tripod kind of thing. Oh, this is the lovely home that we're here. There we are. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and push that thing. Oh. See that patch right there? That's stinging nettle. Stinging nettle is actually really good for you. It's if you touch it, it makes a one. Okay, so I'll be right back. I got to get my, uh, got to get the rock. I think I have it backwards. Hold on. Yeah, I do. Okay. All right? I think this is how it was. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch this camera. This is going to take a little time. One second. The stand is kind of bonkers at the moment. All right, so now I have to flip the cam. There we are. And I'm going to go down to here. Okay, so here we are. And this is what's interesting about this rock. So here we are. It's the rock. And as you can see, it has a lot of fossilistic kind of things going on here, both the back and the front. 
But then we had it sliced open. And it's got even more craziness going on in the inside. It's incredible. I mean, look at this. It's a rock within a rock. It's like two rocks into one, both with fossils. Absolutely stunning. If you see all the details that's going on here. Um, it's just the fact that it was sliced just in the right spot where you could see the crevices of this and the type of stuff that's going on here. Absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Look, look at this. How cool is that? It's amazing. So at some point I thought about like submitting it somewhere, but I just don't know where. <laughs> uh, I wonder how old that is. Yeah, museum quality. Probably right. Um, yeah, I know. It's crazy. So uh, that is super neat. Yeah, it's a rock for sure, not an egg. No, it's definitely not an egg. But um, as um, I Like Turtles suggested, it's a... Um, I'm nuts. What was that word again? Cephalopod. No, I'm saying it wrong. A cephalopod. Can you back me up here? <laughs> Forgot what it's called. Oh, bro, that's way off. Cephalopod. Brachiopods. Brachiopods. It's a brachiopod. Which I'm not sure exactly what that means, but very cool nonetheless. Uh, in fact. Uh, I would like to go ahead and invite uh, Turtles on the chat, maybe talk a little bit about it. Is that cool? That, I think everybody would be interested if, if possible. So you're welcome to if you like. I mean, you don't have to. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So this was found uh, in the ground over here where my house is. When we did the addition to the house, um, that, was, uh, that was one of the things that was dug up. We thought it was kind of cool just on the outside. So when it was cut open, I still can't figure out why my dad decided to do that. Glad he did because, well, well there it is. Um, looks like I need, to, I need to cut the grass. It's starting to get long. But this is the backyard. I got a stack of wood. I had this pine tree. This is a, I forgot what type of pine this is, but they're like a dying breed. So I, I decided to keep it. And uh, there's the fireplace that I like to have my uh, bonfires in, along with my lovely couch, that couch swing thing. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful home. Thank you. Thank you. I'm actually shocked that my Wi-Fi is working this far. <laughs> outside okay this is the back of the house yes all right so let's flip cam now back to me <laughs> I saw a sled yes uh, somebody actually just donated this sled somebody was moving out of their house and they had nowhere else to put it so I said well maybe I'll use it so I'll send my landscaper. <laughs> Actually, somebody did send a landscaper once when I had uh, I had COVID. I couldn't use my trap too sick. Uh, my lawn for me it was absolutely insane because half for nothing, two and a half acres is nothing to sneeze at. It's a it's a long time to cut. It really is. It's such a beautiful country. It really is. It really is. Oh, yeah, all right. So that's that. So you get to see the rock. No, I, I was uh, <laughs> I was showing them the rock that you had cut that has the fossils in it. Remember that? What? <laughs> Remember when we had the tiles done in the house and you cut that rock in half and it showed like all the uh, the fossils in it? Yeah, I just showed that to them. Yeah. So, uh, you sound like Justin Long. I don't know who that is. Several acres as well. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Nicely. Uh, well, no, I didn't hire them. They, they donated their time to cut that day, which is really nice of them. Really cool. But, uh, yeah, I, I, normally I cut the lawn. Actually, I did a little quick... There's a post somewhere far deep in my TikTok where you could find it. 
Hey, what's up, man? People's Talk Network. How you doing, brother? All is well. We're here with my father, just uh, for those of you jumping in. My father is 90 years old. He's a Korean War veteran, and, uh, and now he's just hanging out, you know? So, yeah, all is well. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yep. <laughs> uh, have you ever done radio work? I haven't. No, I haven't just yet. Thank you for your service. Yes. Uh, new girl, dodgeball. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So, yes, he's 90, 90 years old. No meds. I like saying that. No meds. You're a great son. Yeah, I would say so. He was in the Air Force. You're right. He was stationed in the Brady Air Force Base in Japan during the Korean uh, conflict. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, where are you living? I'm in New Jersey. Ooh, the bugs are out today. <laughs> so he had more hair, but um, the aide cut his hair a little too short because it was summertime. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, definitely a little too short. There we are. Okay. <laughs> uh, having a great Sunday. Yeah, this is good. People said thank you for your service in the uh, Air Force. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. He said thank you. Yeah, it's been four and a half years in the Air Force. Four and a half years? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. How come? Why'd you go so long? Because uh, I was during the war. And this, from from a basic training, it's in to Japan right away. Yeah. To, and uh, I stayed two and a half years. Yeah. I suppose to stay even a little longer, but the war ended in fifty. I think it was fifty-five. Fifty-three. Uh, fifty-three. Yeah. Oh no, it was after fifty-three. Yeah. I think so. Well, uh, anyway, yeah. whenever it was. Um, I come home and uh, I was stationed in South Carolina. Yeah. And Sumter. The Sumter base, right. What was the name of that base, Sumter base? Myrtle Mer Beach. What's that? The Myrtle Beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all right. Um, he was born in 32, 1932. Yeah. Thank you for your services. Everyone's saying thank you for your services. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, you got your foot on there. Now, um, I'm going to say something. I forgot what it was now. I have to put this in a distance so I can catch the both of us. There we are. Um, mother was born in 31. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, he's from Sicily originally. If you can imagine, he came here to America when he was 15 years old by himself on a boat. That happened. <laughs> can you imagine being 15 and hopping on a boat across the Atlantic for like nearly a month? And uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. Which is even more interesting. I don't know if he's willing to share this. Hey, Dad, you want to tell them your uh, travel to America, how you came on a boat? Uh, I came on a boat, yeah. I took uh, four weeks in a, a transport and a, uh, the transport from the, the, the war. Yeah. The, the, uh, it was a Navy boat. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was a Navy boat. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. We're coming to, you know, we're American citizens, so we come an American uh, ship. So. Oh, that's right, right. Um, here, let me uh, 
So uh, to put it in perspective, my grandfather was here prior to my father. And so he became a citizen, which naturally made him a citizen. So even though he was born in Sicily, he was actually an American citizen already. Pretty interesting. Yeah, I was born in America. It's amazing. Um, I think they want to hear that story about the, uh, the time you went outside the boat when you shouldn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the boat keep moving, the bad weather, and the, the ship, the transport ship was in that big, you know. And uh, I, I keep on, everybody is supposed to be inside, and uh, I wasn't used to that kind of uh, inside stuff, you know. I was out, outdoor man. You know. He had cabin fever. Yeah, so uh, I figured I'd go outside for a while. And the boat would keep on going down and down, almost as the water. So as soon as it stopped going back and up again, I went inside. <laughs> and I, I stayed inside like I supposed to. See, nobody's supposed to go out. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So uh, he had a brush with death there. That was a dangerous feat, but he made it through. <laughs> Hello from Thailand. How are you? Rooting for you and your family. Nice. Uh, no, your clip is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. He is wonderful. Not only that, but uh, you know, my father, he, he got the wrong bus. Oh, yeah. When he came to port, uh, my, my grandfather had trouble meeting up with him. Yeah, uh, so my father didn't come, was supposed to pick him up, and never picked me up, and nobody picked me up. <laughs> so I said, uh, you know, uh, some people, uh, after my father could make it, uh, strangers, you know, the Italian guys. They, yeah. Uh, they took me to Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. And um, and then I eat over there, and, and then uh, I had the address uh, that my father lived, and uh, I gave him that address, and he, he took him to Patterson. Uh huh. And, um, and that's it. Uh, and my father was away from me home in Patterson. And uh, I said, what happened? He says, oh, I, I, missed, I missed the bus. <laughs> it, the, the bus took him to the, the wrong place. Yeah. So he come back home. Uh, and uh, he away from at home. He figured somebody would take me home. Yeah. And that, that happened, you know. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, I had everything wrong, son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't speak a language. Either. Yeah, his, he didn't speak English just yet. So that was even more, uh, it was more tough. <laughs> uh, any restaurants and recommendations in North Jersey from your dad? Uh, no, he doesn't really go to restaurants, actually. He chooses not to. Hi there. Um, Billabong, how are you? Thank you for joining in. Uh, why did he and your grandfather leave Italy? Well, I mean, it's just the same old story as you always hear. You come to America for opportunity, um, which has actually happened. Um, there's actually an interesting story about my grandfather, uh, which, well, he could probably tell better. Uh, hey, Dad. Yeah. Here's a story that I kind of don't remember, and maybe you, you could tell it better. Um, they're asking why grandpa came here to America and you got to explain to him what he purchased in, in Pennsylvania and what happened. I don't know why. <laughs> um, they want to hear a story about grandpa. Like, why did he come to America? Oh, in those days, everybody, there was not, not enough work in, in Italy, so they come here. They, yeah. They, they didn't know the language. There was like slaves, you know. Yeah. Um, 
some they 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 got citizenship, some they didn't. Yeah. And uh, my my father uh, became American citizen before he got married. Yeah. So all the kids uh, uh, after the, the after they were born, yeah, he took them to the American Council, and uh, they secured them, and they, they they become American citizens. Yeah, but what was that property he had in Pennsylvania? What happened there? Oh, that's a coal mine. The coal mine. That's right. Yeah, my my father had a coal mine, but then when he went to Italy before the war, he paid the taxes for three years because he bought a coal mine. And he was working the coal mine. Yeah. And uh, he paid the tax for three years, but then he stayed in Italy a little longer. Oh, that's what happened. He stayed too long. Okay. And, uh, and they, they, they it, became an Ameri- uh, they, they took it. They took, took it. Back they, yeah, they took it taxes. back. Yeah. And it turned out to be, uh, it, it would, <laughs> had he still had it, we probably would have been millionaires because it was like, Fortunately, situations occurred and he uh, he couldn't retain it because he was in another country. And well, communications isn't as it as it is today. So it's not like you get online on your app and pay for something. But that would have been that would have been pretty cool. I probably would have been living in Pennsylvania. I would be living in so many places, maybe even South Carolina, if that restaurant ever became. So it's interesting. Yeah, well, that's right. That's right. All the coal mines were in Pennsylvania. Uh, he's wearing a grandpa shirt. Well, yeah, he's clearly a grandpa. <laughs> so uh, I don't have any kids. My two sisters and brother have kids. So there's 10 nieces and nephews. Yeah. Can you ask his favorite musician? Hmm. I don't know. Somebody wants to know who your favorite musician is. My favorite musician? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't have no favorite. I just I used to love to dance. I even went to school for that. You did? Then in school in Japan. Yeah, when <laughs> I was in Japan, I went to learn the tango. The, um, uh, I, I love the tango. Yeah. I know how to dance the first dances. I love the first dances, but I I, I don't know how to do the tango. So when I was in Japan, I went to school for the tango. So now I know how to do everything, you know. Yeah. Uh, a, a funny little tidbit. My father can speak Japanese. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> uh, if you go on my, um, on my SoundCloud, Planet Antonio and SoundCloud, there's a, there's a clip there from 1953 of him speaking Japanese, translating to English. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it says it's called Dad Speaks Japanese. It's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, he was definitely quite a dancer when he was younger. He did that a lot. <laughs> okay. Hello, Apple user. How are you? Your father's a lovely man. Yes, 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 he is. Uh, I can count to 10 and speak some basic. That's cool. That's cool. Nicely. Raised in PA, cold country. Grandfather worked in the mines. Great grandpa around about on a steam engine. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's amazing. <laughs> Sexy grandpa. <laughs> I'm the youngest in the family. Yes, that's correct. Let's check the time. I haven't been checking time lately. It's 2.55. I need to come up with a uh, a lunch plan. What do you think I should have for lunch? Or dinner, I should say, this evening. Uh, Mark, he said it before. He says, uh, you know, just eat healthy and not to worry, basically. Pretty much what I always say. Spaghetti. Uh, The thing with spaghetti is that I need to, uh, well, I I should say this. My dinner is usually right around 9, 9 9.30, 9.30 at night. So I need to have something that's going to either stay hot for that long or something that can be uh you know eating cold 
and I don't want to have Burger King again because they were not nice to me yesterday. <laughs> they didn't give me, they didn't give me my um, my ketchup so easily. I didn't like that. <laughs> I marked a few things off my bucket list last night. That sounds pretty cool. Do you make your own Sunday gravy? No, I don't. Unfortunately, my mom used to. She was really good at making sauce. Really miss that. Really, really miss that. Go salad. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I may do that. Shepherd's pie? I don't have that. I do have a chicken pot pie, but I have to keep it warm. I think a salad might that might do the trick. I don't know. You guys are cool. Can't afford it. That's okay, Viper. Just spending time is just good enough, man. It's all good. Uh, order Chinese? Uh, I could do that. I haven't done it in a while. Mm. Chicken with mixed vegetables be nice. It usually stays pretty hot. If I have a, um, I have one of those hot and cold bags, maybe I'll do that. It's a good idea. A sushi, definitely don't want to hold sushi for six hours in a bag. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Uh, or maybe I'll make a, you know what? I'll probably make a, um, a tuna sandwich. That always holds up nice. It's a good idea. My father owned a bakery, uh, Mark. Uh, for about 50 years, literally 50 years. So you opened it up in, when did you open a bakery? 56 or 57? 57. 57. 1957, you opened up a bakery and then sold the business roughly around 2007? That's when I got out of the service. Yeah, 2007. Uh, yeah, when he got out of the service, that was the business he got, he jumped into. Uh, has your dad ordered Chinese and Japanese? No, that wouldn't work. <laughs> Uh, yes, I do live with them. Yes. Kielbasa is good cold. Oh, that'd be nice. I would love to have some kielbasa. I don't have any, though. Uh, what was the most his most popular pastry sold? Um, hold on. I got to think this one up. Pastry? Because it was mostly bread. Pastries weren't really... I mean, we had pastries, but it wasn't really... I think the most, the biggest hot seller was cheesecakes. My uncle, my two uncles worked at the bakery as well. It wasn't just my father, it was three brothers. And my uncles would do cakes and pastries and his cheesecakes were to die for. They were amazing, absolutely amazing. How long have your parents been married? Um, almost 60 years. Yeah. Yeah, the cheesecake was amazing. It's the best I've ever had. I've tried all others, and they never compared to uh, what my uncle used to make. He was amazing. My dad is 90, 90 years old. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for jumping in and, and enjoying this adventure of chit-chatting with dad on that lovely afternoon outside here. This is what it's all about. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, where's my mug? We need the recipe. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, unfortunately, that recipe uh, is no longer available. Yeah, my uncle passed, unfortunately. He looks flipping amazing for 90. Yeah, he does, and he's doing okay. Except for, well, I don't know what he's doing right there, but, you know. Uh, so we have an aide that comes and takes care of him when I'm gone, when I'm at work. So that's the good news. We get more live streams with, with Antonio. Okay, with that, sure. We could do that. Patterson, yeah, he looks very young for 90. Yeah, he looks pretty good. <laughs> Tell him to give us a big smile. <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, Korean War. Thank you. Thank you for any of the gifts. Thank you so much for everyone jumping in here. Just being here is more than enough, really. Um, sharing. You're welcome to share and whatnot. Um, he definitely has a lot of stories. He's only just scratching the surface. Oh, Sammy, you're in Patterson? Cool. Okay. Nicely, nicely. All right. Um, what else? Yeah, he's only scratching the surface. He's got a lot of stories. I'm sure, you know, 90 years will do that. <laughs> so... 
Uh, he lived in 1943. He was a, a kid, uh, I think about 12 years old, right? He came to America in 1947, so uh, as a 15-year-old. So yeah, I think it's about right. I'm trying to do my math. Good to see you, Antonio. Antonio Senior. <laughs> yeah, his name is Sal, by the way, Sal. Yeah. So yeah, hello everyone, and thank you for jumping in. Can we ask him what his first car? I can actually tell you his first car. Uh, he had a 1947 uh, Mercury, right? I have to ask. Dad, what was your first car again? A 47 Mercury convertible? Yeah. Yeah. 47 Mercury convertible. I used to take him on family for a ride at the Garrett Mountain on Sunday. That's right. We used to go, uh, he used to go up to Garrett Mountain with his family, go for a picnic. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice view. Actually, I was just recently up at Garrett Mountain. Oh, they did a lot of work at Garrett Mountain, by the way. Oh, they sure. Yeah. No, I mean, they made it nicer. It looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, they had... They had... They, they had... Uh, uh, like a... Uh, special room that they had to see what you got made, you know? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh... Dad say hi, Billabong. <laughs> uh, he probably wouldn't know what that meant. He... Yeah, they did make a museum out of it. You're right. So, um... uh, they're having fall festival there soon. Yes, that's right. That's right. Falls. Oh, falls festival. Yes. Uh, I gotta check that out soon. I love vintage car. I knew, I knew just what that was. Did he ever ride motorcycles? No, he was not into motorcycles. My uncle did, though. My uncle had a 59 um, Electro Glide. Beautiful bike. In fact, my cousin still has it. He restored it. Looks wonderful. It's like fully dressed. Fully dressed. It has everything. It even has an AM radio. I know it sounds like, you know, so what? But we're talking 1959. Had a radio on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, I would love to teleport to 1943. I do it all the time. I uh, I go into this little uh, corridor, and next thing I know, it, some sort of steam comes on to me, and, I, you know. <laughs> oh, nuts. Enjoy your lives. Thank you, Greg. Thank you so much. So, um, what does that say? Yeah, so Sal is short for Salvatore. That's right. That's correct. Miss my dad too. Yeah. yeah. No, he doesn't watch any sports. We are both not interested in any sports. I think because he's not, I never developed it. So, no, no sports. He's a ladies' man. No, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a people's man. I love people. I love everyone. Antonio, hello. How are you? You need a time machine. I do. I do. Uh, see what we have here all right so <laughs> tango yes he's the tango very much i have some sort of footage somewhere here and there i gotta find it uh what kind of music did you like as a teenager uh me or my father my father was definitely in, he was uh, all about the dancing to the jitterbug so the early rock and roll he was really into that that was just kind of cool it's like when it became hot, you know, it became, he was in it. And he used to go to dance halls all the time. <laughs> Tony, you're so cute. Thank you, Princess. You're wonderful. Uh, Troy, I'm doing great. Really am. My dad is feeling great. He's awesome. Yeah, that would be cool footage to see. I have to, I have to find out what I can find. I do have a ton of uh, eight millimeter film, but that was like, you know, when my siblings were born and stuff like that. Thinking about doing a 43 cosplay inspired by your time travel. That's amazing. If you could do it, that'd be great. How does someone call your antique phone in your lives? Well, um, if you look at one of the lives, uh, not, I mean, one of the postings, 
I actually made a, I'm probably going to pin it. So, uh, Tony, what was the bakery's name? It was, well, it's my last name, bakery. I'm not going to put it on here right now. Um, it's encrypted. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, Johnny Rebel? No, it was more like, you know, Billy Haley in the comments, you know, shake, rattle, and roll, that kind of stuff. He, he dug that. When do you work again? I'm working today. I'm working, well, I got to keep checking time because I do have to create some sort of a sandwich before I go or something. Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll rest a little bit before I go. I don't know. We'll see. And tell your time travel dad that me and my fiance say hello and that we love the lives and content. We'll do. We'll do. All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and head out, prepare myself a battle. So a Taylor ham sandwich. <laughs> Am I Italian? Yes. Uh, hello from Malta. Nice, nice. Yes. It's our neighbor. So take care everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. Much love to all. And, uh, yeah. All right, Dad, tell everyone you say goodbye. Okay. Tell them you're going to tell them goodbye. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Take care. Beep.